we are interested in the extremum values of normal stress ok. The normal stress is denoted by sigma of n is nothing but T is of n dotted with n which will be nothing but sigma transpose n dotted with n ok. Now, with respect to a particular orientation of the axis you have sigma the components of the stress sensor. Now, with respect to the same coordinate system you want to find the components of the normal so that this quantity is maximum ok. In other words you add sigma x star x star as sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 plus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 cos 2 theta plus sigma x y sin 2 theta right. If I want to maximize this value what should I do? I have to take a derivative of sigma x star x star with respect to theta set it to 0 then what do I get? I get minus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 sin 2 theta plus into 2 plus 2 times sigma x y cos 2 theta equal to 0. This expression is this expression is essentially 2 times sigma x star y star. So, maximization of the extremum normal maximization of the normal stress requires that sigma x star y star b 0 on that plane. So, the shear stress on the plane where the maximum normal stresses occur will be 0 ok and this gives us also the expression for tan 2 theta as sigma x y 2 times divided by sigma x x minus sigma y y ok. This is the principal plane theta p but theta p represents the orientation of the plane where extremum normal stress occurs. Okay. Here you have to note if you are using a calculator to compute theta p it will give you tan 2 theta p in the range of minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 ok. That is not what we want we want tan theta to vary over the range 0 to 360 degrees not plus 90 to minus 90 ok. That is it matters whether the numerator has positive sign negative sign or denominator has positive sign or negative sign ok. So, you have to see that if numerator is positive if sigma x y is greater than 0 and sigma x x is greater than sigma y y then 2 theta p would be between 0 to pi by 2. If sigma x y is less than 0 and sigma x x is greater than sigma y y 2 theta p in this case would lie between pi by 2 in this case it lie between pi to 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi ok. If on the other hand sigma x y is less than 0 and sigma x x is less than sigma y y 2 theta p will lie in the range of pi to 3 pi by 2 ok. That is depending upon what is positive your domain in which you have to find theta p will change ok. Now finally, if sigma x y is greater than 0 but sigma x x is less than sigma y y this will imply 2 theta p 
is in the range pi by 2 to pi. Okay. So, depending upon what range your theta p is, it will be on different orientation of the planes. Okay. Now, two points we saw the plane on which the extremum normal stress occurs, we understood that the shear stress will be 0 and that angle is given by this expression tan 2 ta 2 theta p is 2 sigma x y by sigma x s minus sigma y y. Okay. And we understood that this theta p 2 theta p has to be found over appropriate domain which is 0 to 360 degrees. Okay. Now, let us find where the maximum shear stress occurs extremum shear stress. Okay. We got in sigma x star y star as minus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 sin 2 theta plus sigma x y cos 2 theta. Right. To get the extremum shear stress, I have to di differentiate sigma x star y star with respect to theta and equate it to 0 which will give me minus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 times 2 cos 2 theta minus 2 times sigma x y sin 2 theta to be equated to 0. This will tell me tan of 2 theta s is sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 times sigma x y. Okay. Now, here theta s is the orientation of the plane on which the maximum shear stress occurs. Okay. Here again 2 theta s as a domain 2 theta s varies between 0 and 2 pi or 360 degrees. Okay. It is not over 0 and 90 degrees or minus 90 and plus 90 degrees. Okay. So, you have to be careful on how do you select the domain of this uh, solution. Okay. So, uh, what will be the we have found the orientation of theta s at which the maximum shear stress occurs. So, what is the value sigma x star y star maximum would be minus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 into sin theta would be plus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 in and in a denominator you will have sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 the whole square plus sigma x y the whole square. right? And then for cos theta it is going to be plus sigma x y into sigma x y by if I call this r, if I call this quantity r under the square root term that is going to be sigma y y by r. Okay. So, what is this? This is nothing but r square divided by r which is nothing but r that is square root of sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 the whole square plus plus sigma x y the whole square. Okay. This is sigma x star y star maximum. Okay. So, that is the maximum shear stress. Now, let us go back and find what is the maximum normal stress. We found that tan 2 theta p is this. So, the maximum normal stress would be the magnitude of the maximum normal stress would be the following. of 
normal stress when maximum shear stress occurs. Okay. We saw that the maximum shear stress occurs when tan 2 theta s is given by this expression. Now, I want to find what will be the normal stress when this maximum shear stress occurs. Okay. So, I know tan 2 theta s is given by minus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 sigma x y and the normal stress sigma x star x star is sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 plus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 cos of 2 theta plus sigma x y sin of 2 theta. Okay. I substitute for theta 2 theta this expression then I will get sigma x star x star at max sigma x star y star to be sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 plus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 into sigma x y divided by r where r is same as what I used before plus sigma x y into sigma x x and sigma y y by 2 into minus 1 divided by r. You can see that these two terms cancel, you can see that these two terms cancel and d n it is sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2. Okay. The what we have seen is when the extremum normal stress occurs the shear stress goes to 0, but when the extremum shear stress occurs the normal stress is not going to 0, it will be the center of the circle. Okay. Now, let us go back to the circle and identify these points, let us go back to the circle and identify these points, we saw that these two points are the extremum normal stress points, the extremum shear stress point would be this vertical line. this vertical line centered about 6 that will be your tau max, this will be your tau max or sigma x y max. Okay. So, that will be your maximum shear stress and you can see that it occurs at the center of the circle and its magnitude is equal to the radius of the circle r. Okay. So, now uh, we have to mark what the angle 2 theta p and 2 theta s are in this circle. Okay. Now, we saw that tan 2 theta p was sigma 2 times sigma x y divided by sigma x x minus sigma y y and tan 2 theta s was minus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 sigma x y. Right. Okay. Now, what is theta p? Theta p is the clockwise rotation, this is the plane on which you we add the stresses and the pink one, this is the plane on which we add our stress state and this line represents the maximum extremum normal stress plane. Okay. So, a clockwise rotation from this plane to this plane by an angle 2 theta p will give you the orientation of the maximum normal stresses. Okay. 2 theta s on the other hand would be this 2 theta s represents the plane on which the maximum shear stress occurs that will be a clockwise rotation from year to year, this will be 2 theta s. Okay. So, basically now what can you infer from this? The plane from which the maximum normal stress occurs and the plane on which maximum shear stress occurs are separated by an angle of 90 degrees. So, this this clockwise angle is 90 degrees 
okay what it means is the plane on which the maximum shear stress occurs the plane on which the maximum normal stress occurs are related through a 45 degree plane in the actual thing because the rotation of the plane is theta p and theta s here the rotation the most circle is 2 theta p and 2 theta s okay. So, basically now if the angle made by the two planes in the most circle is t phi the angle actual angle would be phi by 2 the rotation of the planes okay that is a theta degree rotation a phi degree rotation in the coordinate system say this is E x p the plane on which the maximum normal stress occurs this is E y p and the plane on which the maximum shear stress occurs this E x s E y s okay this angle is 45 degrees so that it will be 90 degrees in the Mohr circle okay that angle is 45 degrees okay. Now from, from this figure it is clear that the extreme normal stresses expression would be sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 plus or minus r would be your sigma x star x star max and sigma x star x star minimum values right. In fact plus r would be sigma x star x star maximum and minus r would be sigma x star x star minimum value okay. So we have found the principal stresses the, these are called as principal stresses or another name given for this is Eigen stress okay both mean the same Eigen stress or principal stress both of these means the same it means the extremum normal stresses that can occur for a given state of stress 